everyone, this is Terry, and today I'd like to talk to you about rescaling in PE Design 11 software. Whenever you open up a file that is a design either from my design library or a file that you get from a digitizer that is a, a PES or a DST file, that file is a stitch file. So on a stitch file, you're not going to be able to change the sewing attributes of that file. And you're not going to be able to change the density of that file. If you select this file, you'll notice that it, in the bottom on the status bar, it is 2,328 stitches. Now, it also tells you to hold the control key while scaling to maintain the density. And it's important to note, I had a subscriber that mentioned this in one of my videos, and I don't want to miss sharing this with you because if you do open a design file and you want to maintain the density, you need to use a control key. If I just enlarge it, I have 2,328 stitches, excuse me, so you can see that I've made this design larger, but I maintain the same stitch count. And this is true if you choose the option on either a Dream Machine, a Luminaire, or a Destiny, or a Solaris, and you enlarge a, a design on the screen. If you do not choose to maintain the density, you will end up with the same size design. That's the reason why you are told not to increase the size more than, say, 10 to 20 percent, because you lose the integrity of the design that the uh, digitizer originally uh, intended. Now, Who's to say I might want to stitch this out as a light, airy design? If that's the case, then what I need to do is stitch out a test pattern, and I do that anyway on most designs. Let's undo, and this time, let's select the selection handle. So I'll click the Control key, and I'll click the corner, and the first thing you notice is the icon has changed in the corner and it looks like it is a zigzag design. This is the same icon that you'll find in your uh, Dream Machine and your Luminaire if you have that. And you may find it in the other Brother machines. I'm not familiar with those machines because I don't own them. If I drag the handles, now notice down in the bottom the stitch counts 2,328. When I make this design larger, the stitch count is now 5,477. That is because the software increased the size of this design by maintaining the original density that was built into the design. Now, it may not look good, and it may not stitch out well, so what I would recommend, again, is if you increase the size of a design much larger than what it was intended, always stitch out a test file. In fact, when talking about designs, if I purchase a design, I typically buy designs that are the size of the hoop that I want to use. I don't want to buy a 4x4 four four design and stretch it out to use on my largest hoop because it may, it may not have the same characteristics of that design as it was originally intended. Now, let's look at the next object. This is a shape that I created using the shape menu. And when you create a shape with the shape menu, you are, are digitizing. And you will look at under the sewing attributes and you will see that you can change the width of the outline stitch, you can change the density, you can change the under sewing, and under, on the region properties, you can change the density as well. So this means that this design can be edited. It's not a stitch file at this point. It has 1,760 stitches, and if I drag the corner of it, it will increase in size and in density. So it's 6,004 stitches. I'll choose undo. And now let's look at the text. When you create text in PE Design, and you go in and you select the text tools. In fact, let me click on this. 
and you select the text tools and the font, you have the option of different sizes. These are the optimum sizes that have been created when digitizing this software. I typically don't increase the size beyond this because I know I may end up with some zigzag stitches or satin stitches that are way too large. So I would want to convert that design so that I can change the stitch attributes. But that's another video. Let's go back and just select the T. And you in an earlier video, I showed you how to increase the size of this, um, both uh, proportionally and increasing it, stretching it, and making it larger. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but you can see that this has a stitch count of 167. You can also see that the density is available on the screen. So I can change the density if I resize this, or if I resize it, it has maintained that density, and it's now 330 stitches. As I mentioned to you earlier, I would always stitch something out or look at the size of it and measure the satin stitches because you cannot sew satin stitches that are too large. I hope this video is helpful and it explains to you how if you open a design in PE Design and you want to increase the size of it, hold down the control key so you can maintain the density. If you create an object in PE Design and you want to resize it, you can resize it while it's on the screen as long as you have the sewing attributes available. And the same is true for text. However, I recommend when you create text that you use the sizes that are shown in the software because those are going to be the optimum sizes for the, the text. Thank you.